peoples, and welcome back to Hardcore Survival. It's getting gritty right here. We are... Okay. So I just traveled through the savannah. I'm about to go try and find a swamp, but I found a swamp right away. So that's very nice. And it's nighttime because I'm trying to get some slime balls. I'm going a little bit over the top. It's not the best thing to be doing right now, but I'm. it's just how I feel right now. So let's go ahead and grab the sugar cane over here. Oh no. Oh please. Oh please. Is there a button to quickly put this in my shield? Okay, we gotta make sure nothing sneaks up on us too. Oh, I totally blocked that. Alright, nice. He came out of nowhere. He was just already here waiting for us. Okay, so we just gotta be careful of like creepers. There's two creepers and an enderman over there. Very scary. Oh, there's a creeper I'm trying to find a slime. I just want at least one slime ball. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. Um, I think the slimes are green. So if you see one, let me know in the comments below. And if I ended up not seeing it, then you can also tell me that I'm a scrub because I missed it. Let's go ahead and... Hey, how can you see me through the vines? Okay? I want to know that. Where'd he go? Why are they so fast? Jeez. I wrecked that guy, but come on. Okay, we got a creeper. Check all directions. We got to take every precaution possible. Okay, get a sprinting jump shot to knock him back and get critical damage. All of which could matter. There's a skeleton with armor. We're going to stay away from him. Can't be too much harder to take down, but it's still a lot. And I'm not seeing any slimes. Even just like a baby. <gasps> There's a baby slime. Let's get him. Okay. There's a creeper nearby. Give me a slime ball. <gasps> yes, let's go. We're parkouring through the lava infested swamp. We're going to go back home. We're dodging arrows. Staying away from creepers. Staying away. We are set. Come on. I've also put in some things to be cooking while I'm gone. So I'm being pretty efficient with my time. Whew. I think we're safe. Let's take the bite just in case. And let's keep sprinting. We don't want to sit in the same spot for too long. We got to make sure Butch is okay. We left him unguarded. I'd feel really bad if something happened to Butch. Butch. He's not by his dead bush. Butch in his bush. There's the... Oh, he's out there. He's out there. The skeletons are watching. But um, they're not going to do anything to Butch. Butch didn't do anything to them. They better not do anything to Butch. Alright, let's go ahead and sleep as soon as possible. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Get in. Get in. Yes. Whew. That was ner I was. I was nervous. Very nervous. Alright, so I put it out long enough. It's time for the question of the day, guys. Last episode's question of the day results over there on the left side of the screen. Very cool. If they're not there for you, they're in the description, so you can always check it out there. But let's do today's question of the day. So I'm bulk recording these. Still don't have any questions from you guys, but feel free to leave them in the comments below. Hashtag QOTD. And then your question. Let's let's see. What's a good question? Relatable. What's a relatable question? It's like, you know, relevant. Well, last time I asked you about Pokemon Go, whether you're playing it or not. I'm guessing a bunch of you guys play Pokemon Go because it's amazing. And if you don't play it, there's really no reason for you to to not play it. Come on, go, play it. All right. But today's question of the day is going to be Team Instinct, Team Valor, or Team Mystic. So that those are the three teams for Pokemon Go, and they are Artic they're Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres. Moltres being Valor, Articuno being Mystic, and Zapdos being uh, Instinct. And it's like yellow, blue, and red, you know. So yeah, what team are you on? Let's. It's all it's all in good fun, guys. So it's not like say that any teams are worse than any other team. They're it's just Pokemon teams. So, I don't know what you're so fussed up about. 
But yeah, I just want to know what team you guys picked. Okay, so right now I'm making a piss stone. I'm gonna need some wood. I'm gonna need more than that, jeez. All right, let's go ahead and do this. So this is purely for aesthetic reasons. There's no reason to really do what I'm doing right now, but I just want to. I love doing this stuff. So what we're making right now is a piston. If you didn't know how to make one, now you do. Look at that. Boom. And then you just slap this slime ball on top, and you got a sticky piston. I'm going to do minimal redstone over here. But my goal is to have a hidden little hidden shoot oh no oh no oh no that should be fine I don't think it'll ruin anything alright so we're gonna do this let's go ah uh, okay quick mining <laughs> um I think I want to get rid of this one too. I'm going to make this one up. One. Boop. No, I need to do. I need to do it right there. Go ahead and let my redstone mine out that sand. Very convenient. And then. I guess I can use stone so it looks more hidden, you know. It's more discreet than all we need. Is a a lever. We're we're very minimal here. Nothing too fancy. I think it's right there. All right. So now you'll come down. Obviously, there's just a lever there. I could have used a a bud switch with a uh, stone button. It would have blended in better. But I don't really care. No one's gonna be on here. It's just me. So from now we have that. And then the water is just. On the way up, you would need something else. So you got the water to help you swim up. Yeah. And then I added the floor. And we got these dark chests. And we're going to put the um, the brewing stands there. So yeah. So far, so good. So far, so good. I'm very happy with that. Let's go ahead and put this slime ball in there. Got a bunch of junk now. Let's put these away. Don't need the sand and sandstone. Let's get this glass, get this stone. Some stuff that we're going to be needing. Okay, so now we need to remember how to make a brewing stand. So I need the blaze rods. Let's go ahead and just have those. And I believe it's stone slabs. I think that or it's like... Is it just stone? Try stone. No. Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. I'm gonna look it up. Siri, how do I make a brewing stand in Minecraft? Question mark. Let me have a look. Okay, I found this on the web for how do I make a brewing stand in Minecraft. Thank you, Siri. Wow, it's just cobblestone. I thought it was much fancier. Alright, we're going to go ahead and make two. So we can optimize our efficiency. So now we got brewing stands. Yeah. Yeah. Put those bad boys right there. Okay. So this, if you haven't seen this before, this is basically witchcraft. Kind of. We're just, you put your little bottles there. You put your ingredients in. It like mixes it all up. I actually don't know what this is for. No idea what that spot is for. That's new. What is... Oh, man. Oh. It looks like blaze powder. So if I make this into powder... Uh, yeah, it's blaze powder. Maybe it makes it go quicker. But I'm going to need some... I need a crafting table. I don't even have a crafting table in here. Let's put it right there. All right. AJ PJ. Okay, we're going to need an infinite water source. Let's go ahead and... I don't have any good spots. I could have this infinite water source. 
I was gonna put it right there, I guess. I don't know. I can't think of where else to put it. Put one water there, one water there, and then we got an infinite water source. Nice. Okay, so what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and just do that. Let's make 48 glass bottles. All right. And then basically what we're gonna do is just hold right click here. Or I have to click it. Um, I'm gonna be dropping a lot of these water bottles. And then what I'm gonna do is right click into this chest and dump them in. If you don't know how I quickly did that, if you hold one and then hold shift and then double click on a different one, boom, it fills the other inventory. So right now I'll do it on this one, boom. So now we got a bunch of water bottles. Right now it has no effect. So let's go ahead and take three, plop them in here. And I believe the first order of business is putting in another wart. And it looks like it's not working unless we have blaze powder. I'm guessing. Do we really need blaze powder? Wow, you do. Okay. Used, it used to just work. That's cool, though. So I guess this meter will go down over time, kind of like how coal does with the furnace. But basically what that's going to do is make the nether wart. It's going to ferment the water bottles or whatever term you want to use. So now they're awkward potions. I love the sound effects. That's awesome. I didn't know they made sound effects for that. So... Um, I gotta go check my chart, but we're gonna see what kind of potion we can make first. Okay, guys, so the first potion we're gonna make, I don't really need to use the crafting table here, but... So let's put in some blaze powder here. It looks like they're still powered, which is good. So basically, this is going to cook into potions of strength. So now we got a lot of potions of strength. I actually don't think I needed this many and then if we put some redstone in we can get it'll extend the length so right now these will last three minutes put the redstone in and they'll last longer so what else can I make can also do night vision I probably won't need gas tier which I have one can give me regeneration which is really good um yeah. Hmm. It looks like magma cream is needed for fire resistance, so we're not going to be getting that. But yeah, we got potion of strength. Eight minutes. I'm a local brewer. So let's go ahead and put those potions of strength right there. And these are just three. I guess I'll, I guess I'll extend them. I might as well. Alright, so now we have a... I gotta load some new water bottles in. So now I need to nether wart that. These are almost done. Like that sound effect. It's just cool that there is a sound effect. Alright, so now we got a whole line of eight minutes each. Potions of strength. Probably won't even need that many, but I guess it can't hurt, right? Alright, so let's get three more bottles here so it does look like our uh, power source is going down I forgot what I was doing okay put that in okay so now we have one gas here let's go ahead and these are awkward right yes just like me so let's put the gas here in so that'll make something there and then I don't know let's figure out what we're gonna do with that one okay I have decided I'm gonna go with potion of swiftness so we'll be super fast so we can put the sugar in. Sugar. You get hyped up. You got your sugar rush. It's going to make you go faster. So we got regeneration here. Let's go ahead and put a redstone into that to make it longer. So I can just regen for a while. This is going to help me a lot in the final boss fight. Alright, so we got our speed. Let's make it longer. Alright, guys. So I think we've made all the potions we are going to need. We don't even necessarily need them, but it'll be awesome to be able to take these into the final boss fight. So we got, we got our strengths, 
That'll be good. Help us do more damage by a lot. We'll have our generation regeneration. It's only 1 minute and 30 seconds as opposed to like 8 minutes for different potions. But regeneration is really good. We also have our speed. We do have two golden apples, which is going to help us a lot. And I think that's all I really need for that. And I'm never going to run out of nether warts. That's another thing. So yeah, that's very successful. I feel really good about having these potions. I think I'm going to have a strength potion with me. Just in case, you know. Might come in handy. Alright. What's next? Okay, guys. So one of the steps that we're going to need to complete is getting enough ender pearls to make eyes of ender so that I can find the stronghold. And that's going to be very difficult. It's so hard to kill Endermen. You know what? Let's not sleep. Let's actually try and find an Enderman right now. So in the desert, it's going to be a bit easier. There are tricks, little tips and tricks you can do to make Enderman fights a little bit easier. Let's go ahead. Ooh, this is risky. This is risky. I'm really scared. I don't want to die at this point. <laughs> I'm feeling really good about this. So... I think we can do it though. I think we are ready. Nothing can stop us. Let's go ahead and make iron swords. Let's make about let's make two. Two iron swords. Alright, so that'll be good. Let's just get rid of the stone one. I'll have it in reserves just in case. Right. Put the gold there. Don't really know what I needed the gold for. I think it was if I had like melons, but I don't have melons. So have the golden apple, we have that. Don't need the chest. Stick. Other stuff in there. Alright, ready? <sighs> I'm nervous. Okay. Coast seems clear. Is Butch doing okay? Butch, he's surrounded by spiders and skeletons, but he's fine. I'm sure he's okay. He seems to be handling it well. If he's even there. I didn't even know if he was there. There's a zomb. There's two zombies. Don't see any Endermen. I'm going to go ahead and take these guys out. Maybe they'll give me potato. Potato. Oh, man. He didn't get knocked back. It kind of scared me a lot. All right. So another thing that we're going to need to do is make an enchantment table. Because I do want to have some enchants. Hopefully get an infinity bow. <laughs> I doubt that's going to actually happen. But I think what I'll do is look up the best odds. Like what level is it to do. What level is the best level to get it. Because that is the thing. So we'll we'll try that. But we need the, we need an Enderman. Can't believe I'm saying it. But we need him. Alright guys. So I just realized I forgot building blocks. Oh no. There are so many creepers out there. What the heck. Wald what, what is this. Jeez. Alright, so you never want to go scavenging for Endermen without some building blocks. Trust me. Okay, let's go ahead and just run. Run. That's a scary amount of creepers right outside my house. There's Butch. Okay, Butch is okay. Looks like the sun's about to, to rise. Man, I wanted to find at least one Enderman. Where is he? I don't see them. None. There's barely any mobs out, too. Hmm. Maybe it's a conspiracy. Let's go ahead and hunt down that skeleton. And there's two more over there. Let's get their drops. I'm going to need arrows. Because it's likely I will not get... Oh, this is dangerous. Jeez. Why is it so hard to kill skeletons? Why are they so good? Stop. Okay, let's block that. Block that. Hit him. Hit him. Block. Okay. He hit my head. I hurt. I hurt a lot. Look at the arrows. They're like brighter. Alright, it looks like the sun's rising. There's no... Like, Enderman, as soon as the sun's up, they do not even care if you're trying to antagonize them. So, it is a very bad idea to be taking on two skeletons right now. They're probably just going to whittle down my shield here. To make sure I'm safe in all directions and I'm not. 
But they're going to start taking some fire damage. Which is good. Oh my gosh, what am I doing here? Why am I doing this? Dude, he killed that zombie. Got him. Okay. Nice. Okay, so I got the drops. I saw another skeleton over here. It's probably dead by now. Yep. Nice. Got some bones and arrows. Very good drops to have. I, I should be killing bunnies because potion of leaping would be pretty cool. Okay, give me your feet. Give me your foot. Creeper, stay out of this, man. Stay out of this. Can't remember if gunpowder was a an ingredient, but uh, I don't know. We got free sand. Nice. Where'd the bunny go? All right, bunny. Sorry. Sorry, bunny. I need your foot. Bunny, don't you run into that lava. Bunny! I swear. All I wanted was your foot. <laughs> He's like, no, you're not getting my foot. If you, if I can't have it, then no one can. And then he, he just jumped in lava. Sapukud. I mean, it's very noble of him, but it was still pretty dumb. <laughs> I think this is a, okay, why? Do they do this? I don't remember Bunny's running. I don't even know if he's full grown. It's so hard to hit him. Got him. Oh, man. Dang. Okay, so I don't know how I'm going to do this, guys. I need I need ender pearls. I need a lot of ender pearls if I'm going to be doing this. And there's nothing else to do besides getting ender pearls. I mean, there's the enchantment table I haven't made yet. Uh, I mean... I just feel like the next step is to get ender pearls, and that's gonna take a while. It's probably gonna be boring, so I might do a bit of it off camera. Maybe I'll just aimlessly record while I'm doing it, and just keep you guys updated. But yeah, we're gonna end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Not too eventful, but we're getting there. We're getting towards the end, and that's what really matters. So. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.